In the rural community of South Hart in western North Dakota, farmers, ranchers, and citizens are standing up for their traditional family lifestyle. In 2008, the Australian company GTL Energy proposed a research coal drying plant to be located near South Hart. The plant would potentially process up to 300,000 tons of low-grade coal every year. During 2009, Great Northern Power Development is expected to file an application for a 2 million ton a year coal mine. The company has also applied for taxpayer money to build an experimental coal power plant using unproven technology. These coal projects would turn the farming and ranching community of South Hart into an industrial zone. The projects threaten the clean air enjoyed by South Hart families and by visitors to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. The clean, natural water supply that South Hart farmers and ranchers depend on for their livelihoods is also at risk if the coal mine is built. GTL has already erected temporary tent buildings on the proposed coal drying plant site. The company did this without getting the necessary federal permit and in violation of the local zoning code. Despite assurances from GTL and North Dakota government officials, many in the area are skeptical, especially when it comes to the health of their families and the quality of life that they've enjoyed for generations. A couple years ago when this started becoming a reality, um, my kids go to school in South Hart, and one of them has asthma and allergies, and I'm a proactive parent. I'm not gonna wait for him to get sick. I called the Department of Health and asked you know, if there was anything with a coal facility moving in that we have to be worried about. And I was mailed a copy of a children's health study that was done, I think it was 2001, across the state. And it showed a higher significance of asthma and respiratory illnesses in the Hayes and Beulah Center area. So as a parent, that concerned me. There's a school in South Hart, and there's a playground in South Hart. And if there's pollution and dust going through the air, it's going to affect those kids. My wife's got asthma and a couple, my daughters, are they've got a little touch of asthma too and I know if they start whatever this thing, the stuff that's going to be in the air, I know it'll just get worse and it just, uh, our health is a lot more important to me than wealth. I mean I'd rather, I lost my parents from cancers already and stuff like that, I just see no amount of money is going to bring you happiness. I mean I, I'd rather have healthy kids running around playing with other kids that are healthy and stuff, it just, that's worth it. I don't, don't want to see anything come in where it's going to jeopardize their health. You know, we've, we've got extra kids too, so we, we raised five mm -hmm. biological mm -hmm. ones, and, and we adopted two, and, mm -hmm. and have guardianship of a couple of them, and so with uh, figuring it out, we parented probably over 100 kids. Yeah. So it's an ideal place. Well, see, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that does concern me or concern us mm -hmm. because, you know, we have an ideal spot here to raise mm -hmm. kids. I would not want to do foster care in town. You know, our whole way of life is going to change. The concerned citizens form Neighbors United and have been working to have their say in what is happening in their area. Over 100 people came to a meeting on the project held by the North Dakota Department of Health. I'm not here tonight as a part of a group or representing anybody. I'm here as a mom. As of April 13th, uh, the North Dakota Department of Health had received over 40 sets of comments, public comments on this permit application, and only one person has asked for the issuance of this air quality permit. I'm not a doctor or a lawyer or a scientist, just a good old boy that likes working out in the fresh air in the outdoors. And you know, up until this evening, I felt kind of kind of confident, well, somebody's looking out for us, that, that we don't have to worry because the health department's going to be there. They got Everything's got to be safe, but I don't feel that way now. You know, the outfit that self-monitors itself, and uh, and you got to check once in a while. They're allowed to dump out that, that little bit of particulate matter. 22 tons per year, 44,000 pounds that come out of that, that cold dust. Use the power given to you by North Dakotans to protect us. Don't let some out-of-state coal company move into North Dakota 
under the guise of economic development and do to us what natural disasters couldn't do to us. Don't let them wipe us out. It's only a minor source uh, if you don't have to live next door to it. So what is clean coal? Yeah. Cleaner than what? Cleaner than scooping it out of the ground? Cleaner than running it through a crusher? Cleaner than what? There's no Pacific. It's just a catchy phrase. Coal is not the future. Today, we are at the exciting verge in history where the advancement in society and technology has allowed us to incorporate our current energy needs with renewable energy resources. It's time for us to invest and take a stand in the vital steps for a cleaner and brighter future for everyone. I think you guys really need to sit down and take a closer look at this and maybe come out here to western North Dakota and see what fresh air is all about. The message I think that you're hearing loud and clear is look at carbon dioxide, look at all of these other things when, when this is being considered. Neighbors United is not giving up on their fight to preserve their way of life. And we're hoping that we can keep the country the same, keep the quality, the air quality, the quality of life the same in this area. We're proud of what we do. And we're, we're not gonna probably be rich, but as long as we can make ends meet and raise a healthy family and survive out here, I said, I said, this, this is this what life's about. You know, I just, I like it out here. There's, there's struggles, you have droughts, you have floods, you have things you work through. But it's just, my concern is, I don't want to look out a window and see a haze out there and the kids going out there and playing and stuff, breathing this stuff in. We just don't want to get pushed, pushed aside like we're nobodies. I mean, we're going to stay here as long as we can. We're going to fight this thing till, till we just can't. But I just, I've instilled in my kids already too that they, they're already saying too that they want to stay here their lives. They want to stay in this area and they don't want to be living in a cloud of. I want fresh air and clean water.